my visiting parameter is that true color. This is the name. I simply copy this here. Simply copy and paste here. And after this, I gap the layer name. This is layer for the, I can gap this the dry season, dry. Dry season, okay. And I will do for the same thing for the another layer for the wet season. I simply copy this line of this code and paste here and simply copy this image weight, this variable and paste here. I also change it. This is the wet season. Wet season. And focusing my shape file, I simply use here the map dot center. object focusing my shape file taka and zoom level is the 10 okay so i can simply click to the run if so what happened we can see we'll see so we can get this result the two season layer But we can get the two, okay, two layer. You can see here, there is the wet season. This is the dry season. There is no cloud. But when you go to the wet season, we can get some cloud. Okay, this is the cloud. And Google Earth Engine has a feature so that when you make the land cover classification, you need to a good images or you need to the cloud free images. So Google Earth Engine has a Feature so that you can easily remove this cloud. Okay, so in this time, this is our introductory part. So I don't know go in the depth how you can use the cloud max band function and remove the cloud. So you can see this is the cloud. It will be happen for your uh, any satellite imagery for the wet season. When you can go to the wet season, you can <coughs> get the some cloud from here. Okay, so which Google Earth Engine has a part. You can easily remove out this cloud. Okay, so this is the advanced session training. So are the removing the cloud or other haze okay so in this time this is the introductory part so i don't go to this part in this time just i want to show you that how you can calculate it the ndwi okay but it's possible to remove all of this cloud and make the clear images in google earth engine okay so now we can get the two images two images as well as wet season and dry season so now we want to calculate it, the NDWI. So for this NDWI, we need to two band for Sentinel. We need to the green band, it's named the B3. And we also need to the near infrared band, it's the B8, okay? So now we want to calculate it, the normalized difference between two bands, then we can get our uh, NDWI result. Okay, so for this, suppose I can get for the NDWI for the uh, image uh, for the dry season. First of all, I can simply take this variable uh, NDWI dry. Okay, and then I simply call my image collection for the dry season. You can see this image collection name is image dry. I simply copy this image dry and paste here and after this google earth engine has a function this function name is normalized difference this normalized difference calculated the normalized difference any two band okay so now if you want you can also use the or that's the method of the band calculation or if you want you can also use this function this function name is normalized normalized uh, difference Okay, this is a normalized difference function and it calculated the normalized difference any two band. Okay, just when I put this band, it will be automatically calculated our formula. Okay, so I can simply put here the band, band name. I can put this argument is the band names. 
I simply put this two band. I want to calculate it to two band normalized difference for NWI normalized difference water index. So I simply put here the green band V3 as well as also use here the near infrared band V8. So that this is the two band. I simply make a list. So I use here the square bracket and then I put here my band name. Okay. So now it will be automatically calculated the normalized bit difference between two bands. I simply copy this code, paste here. Then I just change here this variable name, NDWI for weight season. Okay. And then I simply use the change this image collection variable name. This is the image weight. I simply copy this image weight and paste here. Okay, so we can calculate the NDWI for the two season. Okay, so now you need to add this uh, map add layer view. So you need to add here the color plated. Suppose I can take here the map add layer function, add, uh, layer function, and then first of all, I want to show the image NDWI for dry season. I simply copy this. And I also make a variable and put here the visualization parameter. Suppose I want to show this result for the water plated. I can take here the variable. Suppose I can get this. This is the visualization parameter. I can get the visualization para. Okay. And then I want to define here the color name. Suppose I want to show this uh, color name. I make a list. And define here the suppose uh, red. Then you can also define here the yellow. Also define here the green. And this, this is the blue. Okay. And then I define here my visualization parameter. I just simply make a uh, dictionary and define here my mean and max pixel value okay so my mean pixel value i want to get from the minus one to x i want to max here the you can put here the 0.5 okay i can you can use what you need pixel value just you can put this value and we already know that the ndwi uh, value between the minus one to plus one okay so i put here the 0.5 to get this result from here i also use here the plated function and here i already define this plated okay you can see here if you want you can just simply use this list in here okay but in this time i just make a list and put this list in a variable this variable name is this i simply copy this variable name and paste here okay this is the same procedure okay so now i can simply grab this layer name i can grab this layer name is the n d w i for dry okay and then i simply copy this line of this code and paste here i just change this uh ndwi weight i simply copy this and paste here as well as i also change the this is the ndwi for weight okay so i simply click to the run if you have no any wrong so then we can get the error so what happened we can see Okay, so now it will be showing this result for the two season, dry season and wet season for the NDWI map. Okay. So this is the wet season. This is the dry season, wet season and dry season. And if you want, you can also export this map as a tip format and use this tip format in ArcMap or QGIS software easily. So any question?
in this code? Anyone, any question? Uh, there is no question, sir. Okay. And I also provide you all of this code so that you can also practice. And when you make this practice, you can easily understand one by one all of these things easily. Okay. Sir, one thing, there is a thing like true color, false, or false color. Like, uh, I, I didn't search it well. What's the difference between these two things? Can you tell me a little? So this is the band combination. So in Google, and this is the part of the remote sensing classes. So when you use every satellite imagery has the different types of band, okay? And this band represent the different types of the wavelength, okay? And when you make the combination of these three band, okay? We can use here the red, green, and blue, okay? This called the true color composition, a true color combination. And if the, you can also use for the uh, false color combination or other colors combination, okay? For the using the different type of three band, okay? Red, green, and blue, okay? You can use the- what, what, Why we use this different combination? Why is this necessary for what kind of uh, doing what kind yeah. of analysis? Yeah, yeah, is, is you need to define the different types of band combination because when you want to get the feature, suppose, you want to make the land cover classification map and you want to identify the some specific feature it will be uh, agricultural land okay hmm. suppose you need to agricultural land so then you need to uh, combination of the uh, which combination will be showing the good agricultural land then you need to use this combination okay suppose you want to okay. identify the geological feature so which combination hmm. is the best showing your geological feature then you can use this band combination and identify your feature. Okay. okay. And Google Earth Engine, you can easily use the different types of band combination. Just you can put here the band combination number and you can search the Google or other remote sensing book. You can get the lot of things about this easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay and okay. apply this knowledge in here. Okay. So in this part, anyone, any question? And if you can, you, you can easily export this map and make the map load in the Arc map of QGIS software. If you want, you can also make the time series chart of this map and easily identify when this time series, when this time between the uh, year of 2050, where the time, where the uh, NDWI is high or low, you can easily identify. And if, if you want, you can also uh, make the time series chart for the different way. If you want, you can make that eight day, seven day, 30 day. Okay, you can get all of these things easily but this is the another advanced training session i will not go in this step in this time okay so i will go to my next slide